West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM. This week's Knights Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by Village Motors in Millersburg. I'm Mac Roy alongside Mike Kenzie and West Holmes, a 38-28 setback at Mansfield Senior in Arlen Stadium back on Friday night. And really three big scores in that fourth quarter late for West Holmes. Mike, no quit in that Knights team on Friday. But in the end, just maybe too big a hole to dig themselves out of. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. They dug themselves a hole, but, you know, a positive thing is they did finish on a strong note. You know, it feels as if maybe there was a little bit – if there was a five-quarter game, I think we would have won that game. No question. And you look at the defense, maybe on the positive note, too. Obviously, they gave up some scores, but they got a lot of stops in that game also. Gave West Holmes at least a chance to try and make the, the comeback in that fourth quarter. Uh, yeah, these kids are learning every week. You know, they're teenagers, they're young uh, high school athletes, and they do make mistakes, and they've got to learn from these mistakes. And that's the quality of a good team is you learn from your mistakes and you move on. So hopefully they're going to learn from the things that they've done, but uh, that they've done well and that then things that they've done not so well. But uh, I'm looking forward to this Friday, and I think they'll come out swinging. In. See, that's a very good Mansfield senior team. You get the loss there, but this is a team, still plenty of talent. Once they kind of put things all together, you feel like this is a team that can still make a nice run. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have the weapons there. We just got to make things come together, and we got to gel a little bit. But uh, like I said before, every game's important, and every game we get better. And, uh, you know, just keep plugging away, and I think we'll be okay. West Holmes now 2-2 two and two on the season. They're 0-1 oh in the Ohio Cardinal Conference. Let's go out to Knight Stadium right now. The Jake Seidel alongside head coach Zach Gardner. Thanks, Matt. Coach, uh, over at Mansfield Senior on Friday, a uh, bit of an awkward start. You had a few bounces that didn't go your way. What did you learn about your team, and what did your team uh, learn going through that adversity? What we learned is we have a, we have a lot of fighters that will fight till the bitter end. You know, obviously the, the, the ending score wasn't, you know what we wanted it to be, and and, and you know that, that that hurts. But I was immensely proud of the way that our kids never quit. You know, we easily, you know, when you talked about having the, the bad bounces at the start of the game, and then the bad bounces at the start of the third quarter, not go our way. Um, you know, we easily could have just rolled up and, uh, you know, uh, you know, quit. You know, but we didn't. You know, our kids fought till the very end, and uh, I'm immensely proud of the of the grit and and, and, the, and the never say die and keep fighting till triple zero the way that our kids did. Yeah, one of those players that kept fighting was Kyle Maltrich, who had his first full game back from injury. How much does having a player of his caliber help your team on both sides of the ball? Oh, it's huge. You know, especially when he on the defensive side of the ball, he basically you know takes away the middle of the field, and then having him back on offense, you know, having our full assortment of uh, of skill players. You know, we're very deep, in, you know, in our skill players positions, and we feel you know that, that we got a lot of guys that, that that can score. And having Kyle back with us gives us uh, you know all, all of our weapons. You've got Madison this week, Coach, a team that you can never overlook. They've got a first-year head coach. What are you expecting to see out of the Rams, and what are you doing to get ready? Yeah, they're a program that's looking for an identity. You know, they're looking for an identity offensively. Uh, they're looking for one defensively. But, uh, you know, you see on film that they play hard. You know, the, the coaches are doing a good job of putting the kids in positions to be successful. And, uh, you know, they, they just played a very good football game uh, against Worcester. You know, they're, they're getting close to, to breaking through. And, uh, you know, um, you know, obviously, you know, we, we have to give our best effort to be able to, to, to come out with, with what we've been craving and what we've been missing these last couple of weeks, which is a win. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck against Madison on Friday. Thank you. Now here with senior West Holmes wide receiver Kyle Maltrich. Kyle, uh, your first game back from injury, you had a 25-yard touchdown, and you weren't done there. You were able to complete a pass for a two-point conversion. Can you walk us through those plays? Uh, yeah, we had a super slow start. Um, we came out, uh, actually got the ball, received the ball, and you know we came out, got a safety, and then after I punted it, they got a kick return for a touchdown, and they jumped on us 8-0 when we were supposed to score first. Um, so it was a battle. I know that... Normally people say that that game's the league title. So, you know, me and Morgan just connected on a scramble, whatever you like to call it, where a broken play. And uh, it really just got our energy going. Um, me and him are some, are some people that need to step up and get together. And when we can do that for the team, it's huge to bring the energy. Yeah, and when you have that chemistry with your quarterback, it seems to make a lot of other things in the game a lot easier. Absolutely, yeah. So once you get clicking on those cylinders, especially with, um, an athletic duo like me and Morgan, um, when he can use his legs and get out of the pocket and scramble, it opens up me down the field and our other receivers. Like we said, it was your first full game back of the season coming off an injury. Uh, what did it mean to you to be able to get back out there and compete at the full level? Um, it was huge. Um, just really had to improve my mental game. Sat on the sideline for two weeks and 
let me tell you, it was a struggle. Um, I love playing the game and getting out there and being able just to know what I can do for the team um, really helped me get through it. And when I got out there, I did everything I could just to get with the guys and do what I could. You've got Madison this week. What are you and your guys doing to get ready for the Rams? Um, in the past two weeks, rowing two. Uh, that's very, very high on our table. Um, we know that. We're coming. We're putting in the work. Um, we're ready to come back. We need something to get the program going again. And I think this is a great week to start our win streak going again. Yo, Kyle, thanks for your time today. Good luck on Friday night. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll send it back to you, Matt, at Village Motors. All right, Jake, thank you. And alongside Mike Kinsey, once again, at Village Motors. So, Mike, if you're looking for trucks, Village Motors is the place to go. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, if you come down, you're going to see on the front of our showroom here, we have a bunch of heavy-duty trucks out there. Uh, they're, they're priced right. They're discounted. And uh, like I said, if someone's looking for a good deal, now's the time to do it because like the, the prices are in the window. And I guarantee it's a good price. And plenty of salespeople here to help you out. Yeah, if you, 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 we got plenty of people here. Uh, we're going to get you exactly what you need, and we'll take care of all your needs. Again, stop by and see them. Village Motors on Worcester Road in Millersburg or on the web, villagemotorsinc.com. The West Holmes will be on the road for a third consecutive week this Friday when they take on the Madison Rams at Madison. Madison, of course, has been a tough sledding for them here lately. Record of 0-4 this year. Of course, coming off a 27-14 loss last week at Worcester. West Stoles defeating the Rams last year 56 to nothing in Knight Stadium. And for West Stoles, they won eight straight over Madison, their last loss to the Rams, coming all the way back in 2015. And for Madison, just five wins total going back through the 2016 season. But uh, for Madison, their head coach and first year head coach Brent Brosanson charged for trying to turn around this Madison program. But Mike, one good thing maybe for West Holmes is you kind of feel like with the losses the last two weeks, the Knights aren't going to go in overlooking this Madison team on Friday. Uh, they have to be hungry. I, I know that they're working hard this week at practice to overcome the problems that we had last week. And, and you bet they're going to be ready to play this week and uh, hopefully we'll come out on top. You know, last road game here on this three game stretch here, uh, Mike's so nice to kind of get a road victory here before you return back to the Knights Stadium. Uh, yeah, it's nice to come home, uh, but uh, we're well traveled. You know, we'll probably have more fans there than they will. That's one good thing about West Holmes, but we're in our comfort zone. We're at home. So, yeah, let's, let's bring a victory home and let's uh, continue to win the rest of the season. We'll see what happens this Friday night. Of course, we have that game here on WKNLM. It will not be on video live stream this Friday here. We are not able to video live stream that game. No permission to be able to do that, but we will have that game on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com as for usual. And our hometown football Friday night pregame show begins at 6 p.m. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. For Mike Kenzie, I'm Mac Roy. Special thanks also to Jake Seidel, Zach Gardner, and Kyle Maltrich. And that's been this week's Knights Football Weekly Preview Show, brought to you by Village Motors in Millersburg. Thank you for watching the West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM.